So the thing about Own Sphere Luftreiser that people might not get, because you play this game and like the Nor it's it's very overtly Norse mythology, right? Like it's got Vikings and dwarves and Valkyries and dragons named like Wolgner and Ragnarok and shit going down. And you, and you look at this and you're like, this is Norse mythology, why is everything German? Why are the W's pronounced like V's? Why is it called Luftreiser? Why is it, why is there so much German to this? Well, the thing people might not understand about that is like, we today associate Norse mythology with Scandinavia. But the thing is, like, it's really just German paganism in general. Because, okay, like, Back way, 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 way back in the day, back in the triple digits, uh, back before the Roman Empire, we had, like, Europe was basically split up into tribes, into uh, tribal societies that, of course, were shit upon by the more civilized groups like the Greek city-states and Rome, like, they called them barbarians because everything that wasn't Latin, like they didn't speak Latin, and every language that wasn't Latin just sounded like bar 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 bar. So they called them barbarians, and you know went to war with them and took them as slaves and whatnot, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So back then there were all these different tribes, and you know there was you know the Franks over there, and what would eventually become France. There was the Franks. There was the Germans, the Germanic tribes, and then there was, you know, the Brits, which originally must have been either Germanics or Franks, probably Franks, considering the distance there, probably Franks, who just, you know, managed to sail across the pond a little bit and settled on those islands, and then enough time passed that they could be considered their own unique culture, and then, you know, the Celts split off even from them, but, you know, point is, there were all these different tribes, the Franks, the Brits, the Germanics, and all of the Germanic tribes believed in that mythology, what we consider today to be Norse mythology. They all believed in Odin, in, you know, Valkyries and Ragnarok, all that shit. And it was just because, you know, Charlemagne came along and conquered fucking everyone. Charlemagne really just wrecked everyone's shit. He conquered pretty much that, like, everything we consider Europe to be today, aside from maybe Spain, because I'm pretty sure the Muslims had already claimed that, and Britain. And, like, I'm pretty sure he, like, stopped right at the Slavic line. <laughs> and, like, he conquered all of that shit and the Pope was like, yo, and crowned him the Holy Roman Empire, emperor, and everything he owned became the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, he, like, the Pope mainly did that to spite the Byzantines, who at the time considered themselves, and really you have no argument to say that they weren't, the Roman Empire. They were the... Eastern Roman Empire, Italy was the Western Roman Empire, Western Roman Empire got taken out by barbarians, Eastern Roman Empire survived and continued on, but they weren't Catholic, they had become Orthodox, the schism had occurred, right? So the Pope was like, fuck you guys, you're not Catholic, therefore you're not Romans, this guy is Roman, he's, this guy is the Holy Roman Empire because he's Catholic, therefore, fuck you. This is the new Rome, the Holy Roman Empire, which was neither holy, Roman, or empirical. <laughs> he really just did it as a fuck you, but it was, like, Charlemagne was Catholic, so Catholicism did spread throughout all of the area that he controlled. And paganism really just kind of got wiped out by that point. And, of course, he didn't get as far as the Slavic nations, he didn't get to Denmark and Scandinavia, so, like, the Slavics are their own thing, but the fucking Scandinavians were Germanic, 
they are a Germanic peoples, and they spread out far enough that they kind of became their own thing, but they, they still had that mythology. They still had that belief system of the paganism that the Germanic peoples had. So by the time that Scandinavians were coming over to England, a Viking, and, you know, they were the ones writing shit down. They were writing down about these encounters with the Vikings who had this weird, strange religion that was not Catholicism or Christianity, I guess. It's Back then, it was Catholicism. Christianity didn't really become a thing until, I think, Calvin. No, Hobbes? Which one's the tiger? Hobbes, right? The guy who hammered the shit on the door? I'm pretty sure it's Hobbes. Uh, and then Lutheranism. Anyway, <laughs> that's a whole that's a whole other topic. Point is like, oh shit, these guys aren't Catholic. That's weird. Let's write down about their crazy thing. And so Vikings are the ones who got all the credit for Norse mythology, but really it's German mythology. All of the Germanic peoples believed in that stuff. They all had the same pantheon. It wasn't the same stories. Like, it was kind of like Egypt. Egypt, you know, they had the Egyptian pantheon. Everyone believed in those gods. But it was sort of like, depending on which, you know, neighborhood you went to, everyone had a different story about what those gods did. Like, everyone had a different myth. You know, you go around Egypt and ask ten different people... For a god story, you'll get 20 god stories, right? Uh, but, so, the Norse version of it is what survived into modern day, but, again, everyone believed in that. Really, like, Germany got kind of a raw deal all throughout history. Like, there was really never anything that we, in the modern sense, consider to be Germany for quite a long time, Germany as a nation is really quite new because back, 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 way back in the day, it was just the Germanic tribes and they weren't really a centralized, you know, culture. They weren't really a centralized thing. They were just assorted tribes that all kind of believed in the same thing, you know, kind of like Native Americans, the way we think of them. And, sneeze. and then, you know, Charlemagne came along, conquered everything, and then that whole area, including, like, a whole bunch of other shit, became the Holy Roman Empire. And then when Charlemagne died, uh, the secession crisis happened, and then, you know, France and Aquitaine, and then, you know, Germany and most of Italy. A good chunk of Italy. Like, there was Lombardia, but anyway kind of kept with, like, the son who get to keep, got to keep the emperor title, and then his bros got France and Aquitaine. And a whole bunch of shit happened there. But, like, the Holy Roman Empire really was, you know, all of that landmass for quite a long time. And, and then when the Holy Roman Empire kind of tapered off, that's when you started to have Prussia cropping up into place. And Prussia was this idea of like, okay, we gotta get all of the cultures that speak German together. Like, everyone that speaks German, we gotta get them together, we gotta get all this shit in one basket. Because even back then, it was just a bunch of different, like, states and countries. There was no Germany yet. There was no Germanic country. And Prussia, that was its ambition. That was Prussia's ambition, is they wanted to unite all of the German-speaking countries into one empire, into the Prussian Empire. And then when Prussia fell off, that's when you started, that's when the modern idea of Germany really came into being. Like, Germany is incredibly new as a country. We don't really think of it as new because there is all this history to, you know, all the various things that happened in that location but germany as a country as a name as a culture really didn't come about until really 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 recently and then world war one happened (laughs) 
so so much for that, right? <laughs> and of course, like because of like it's really about it's really because of World War One that everything else sort of happened. Like we wouldn't have gotten Nazi Germany and all that if it wasn't for the way for because of Germany being so new at the time. Because after World War One happened. And that was such a bullshit, fucked up conflict that didn't make any sense. Europe just kind of wanted something to blame. And Germany was the newest kid on the block at the time. So all of the blame for World War One got thrust on Germany. They were like, you guys caused this, fuck you, shut, shut, shut. What do you mean, what do you mean Franz Ferdinand was the Duke of Austria, which is right next door to you guys? Suck my dick. You're, it's your fault this happened. Fuck off Germany. Like, what are you going to do about it? You're so new. What are you going to do? Go up against France? Fucking France? Yeah, I didn't think so, bitch. And so, you know, the, that's what the Treaty of Versailles was. The Treaty of Versailles was just this fucking really unfair, one-sided thing that blamed Germany for the entire kit and caboodle and just completely obliterated their economy. Completely obliterated their economy. Completely obliterated their economy. Like, like the like inflation was so insane that people were carting around wheelbarrows full of the German of like just stacks 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 of German dollars to get one slice of bread because that's what because it wasn't worth anything. Kids were playing with like big ass banknotes of the German dollar and playing with them as building blocks because that's what it was worth. It was just paper. It didn't mean anything because that's how bad the Treaty of Versailles fucked them over. So really. That's where Hitler and the Nazis came from, because the Germanic pe Germans, the German people, were so put upon and subjugated and just fucked over by all by the entire sphere of Europe, just didn't give a shit and just shat in their fucking cornflakes. That when uh, the Nazi Party came around and said, "Hey, guess what? We're gonna fix the problem." And you know what? I know you're all really angry and confused, and there's not really a, like, there's no person that you can point to and blame this on. And you're, and you're all really angry, and you don't really have anything easy to put that anger on. Guess what? It was the Jews. The Jews did it all. There's an easy, convenient scapegoat for you to blame, and that'll improve morale, and we're gonna fix the fucking economy, and we're gonna bring Germany back into a military might nation remember remember fucking prussia that's how cool we used to be and we're gonna bring that back and of course germany is gonna fall for that they're so desperate they're so fucked like what are they gonna do say no fuck you guys trying to solve all of literally all of our problems for us we're just gonna continue living in fucking squalor and starving to death of course they said yes to the nazis and to their credit, the Nazis kept most of those promises. They did turn around the German economy. They did reforge the German military into something menacing once again. And they blamed it on the Jews. And no one, and like, really, that was the only thing that could either that happened or Germany would have died. Those were the two options at the time. And if the rest of Europe hadn't fucked them over with the Treaty of Versailles so bad, that would never have happened. And of course, Europe at the time was just so pussyfooting around. Like, they didn't... It's hopelessly naive at the time, really, when you think about it. Like, after World War One, they were like, oh, remember that, the Great War. The war to end all wars. That's what World War One was called. And they didn't call that for, like, petty poetry. They really thought it was the last war. They thought, okay, that was the worst thing that has ever happened in the history of ever, and now we're done with war. There's no more war anywhere. Dadaism, <laughs> like, kind of took hold. Like, okay, we're done with war. No more war is going to occur. So when Nazi Germany started rolling out and doing the fucking Blitzkrieg and taking over Poland and shit, no one else in Europe did anything because they were like, just no more war, okay? Just let them have it. Just let them, just let them take it. It's fine. It's fine. Just no more war, guys. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's invading France. 
Oh my god, he's taking over France. Oh no. Oh, they're bombing England. Fuck. 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 What we're doing. <laughs> he's going into Africa. Shit. 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 What we're doing. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what happened. And you know, to their credit, after World War II kind of resolved, they didn't repeat the mistakes of the past. They recognized that the Treaty of Versailles was a fucked up mistake, and they didn't do it again. Although, to be fair, at the time, Soviet Russia was sticking its dick in things, so maybe, you know, I guess maybe if Soviet Russia wasn't around, eh, maybe things would have gone differently. But because Soviet Russia was there being such a fucking asshole, um, you know, Germany kind of got off a little bit better. And aside from the half of Germany that just kind of got taken over by the USSR and Berlin and whatnot, Germany kind of got, you know, it was war-torn, it was fucked up, but, you know, they got treated better after that. They got, you know, they managed to, re okay, you know what, Whew. we're Germans. Everyone, let's just huddle together here, you know what, we're Germans. And we can, we can, let's go have a beer and a sausage and just try and put this behind us, okay? And then, of course, <laughs> and then, of course, uh, now you have a hostile invasion of religious migrants coming in and fucking Germany over. Because Germany just can't get a fucking break. <clears throat> you know that phrase, like, Poland had the misfortune of being in between Germany and Russia? Germany just got dicked over all throughout history. Even before it even existed. Uh, so, yeah. The Germans believed in Odin and the Vikings and Valkyries and shit, and that's the reason it's called Luftwaffe. Shut the fuck up! 